So welcome back to another race vlog. This weekend, myself and my sister are gonna be doing the Oxford Half Marathon. Um, a big thank you to ProDirect Running for sponsoring today's video uh, and actually getting myself and my sister in the race. Um, we're gonna be trying out some Hocker gear. Um, more importantly, the Rocket X2, which are the latest carbon racing shoes. Um, we're gonna be taking them across the half marathon distance and giving them a good try. So expect a little bit of a review on that shoe towards the end of the video. But as for today, it's Saturday, the day before the race. Um, we're driving up to Oxford this afternoon. Um, staying in a little Airbnb tonight and then the race is tomorrow morning. I have had a little bit of a niggle this week, which has been a little bit odd. Um, a little bit of numbness in my left quad. Um, I went on a little bit of a shake out this morning, uh, six kilometers, and I didn't have any pain um, in the quad today. So I'm hopefully um, okay to race tomorrow, but I am gonna approach this race with a little bit of caution. In my head, after five kilometers, I'm gonna assess whether uh, I've got any pain. If I have any awareness in the quad, then I'm probably gonna call it there and maybe jog into the finish or even DNF, but we'll see. Um, this isn't an A-goal race for me, so important. the important thing is just to protect my legs um, ready before my trip to Kenya, which is in two weeks time, and just have a little bit of fun. But if it, all things go to plan, no pain, uh, then I plan to, to give it my best tomorrow at the Oxford Half and see how competitive I can be. There's 13,000 runners, so hopefully there'll be some strong competition up the front um, and we can run a quick time. The weather in the UK has, has changed today. Went for a run this morning. It's definitely long sleeve weather now. Um, I think it's about six or seven degrees when the race starts tomorrow. So yeah, it'll be a little chilly one. At least it's not too hot. Um, it'll be a good race and hopefully have a good weekend with my mum and sister and uh, my sister's boyfriend, Dan. I'm just waiting to get picked up. Just the small bag uh, coming with me this weekend. Um, but yeah, should be a good laugh. I'm really looking forward to, to doing the Oxford half. Have no idea. Uh, if the course is fast, if any fast people are going to be doing it, but we'll see. Going to go along, have some fun, eat some good food, and spend some good time with my mum and sister. That's the plan. So we just arrived at the Airbnb, probably one of the craziest Airbnbs um, I've ever booked, but it was literally the last one available in Oxford, probably because there's a half marathon on. So yeah, it cost a fortune, but um, it's pretty nice. You enjoying yourself? Yeah. Have a little splash in the pool. Um, we've got, uh, yeah, we're lucky to have a pool, a little hot tub here, just for one night, but um, why not live in luxury, hey? I'll give you a little tour of the place. So yeah, mum and Nelly are just having a little swim. And um, we've got the hot tub here, currently set to 39 degrees. Do you want the bubbles on? I'll show you how you put the bubbles on. Very exciting. One, two, look at that. Cool, and the sun setting as well. In the pool, you've got a, uh, a jet to swim against. Do you want to do a demonstration, Mum? Yeah, there we go. One, two. <laughs> Is it really hard to swim? Way! <laughs> so yeah, we've got a nice little pool hot tub situation. Let me show you the indoor area. I've just put my uh, dinner in the microwave. There's no oven. Um, so we're going for microwave dinners. Dan's also found the, uh, the retro games console in the corner. He's having a go, not sure what it is. Some sort of football. Very good, this is the little the kitchen area. Got a coffee machine, espresso. I mean, it's not, an, it's not an espresso machine, but I mean, it'll do. In here is microwave, it's my dinner in there. Going for some rice and some uh, beef and black bean sauce. That's Ben logic that is, just literally put it on top of the other because they wouldn't fit. We got a nice little bathroom and shower. Toilet, double flush, cool. And um, yeah, these are the beds. I'll be sleeping here tonight. Mum on this one. And uh, let me show you the other room. Through here, that's where my sister and her boyfriend Dan will be staying. But um, yeah, nice little crib. Just gonna chill out here this evening. Uh, I'm gonna go through all my kit in a minute just to make sure I haven't forgotten anything and then get ready to race tomorrow. But yeah, what an awesome little Airbnb we've got for the night. There we go, that's dinner for tonight. I've gone first to use the microwave. Um, m and job, so I've got some pilo rice and a beef and black bean sauce. 
and a lovely view of the, hot, of the uh, swimming pool. Get used to this. Very nice. <laughs> Whee! Is it warm? Is it warm, Dan? Right, my turn to join the uh, join the party now. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so hot. Oh, oh this yes. is for life, isn't it? Oh, that's alright, get used to that. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to swap over though, because like, you've got all the bubbles. A bit steamy. <laughs> Probably <laughs> shouldn't have a uh, camera in a hot tub. No. Probably should put it out. Yeah. Don't reckon that's the best idea. <laughs> now my hand's wet. Bye. Keep going! The next day. about four degrees outside so a really chilly start the weather in the UK literally has turned cold as of yesterday so I'm going for one layer two layers three layers four layers that should keep me warm not gonna get cold in the start pen it is now about 7:15 or 7 30 so about two hours until the race starts um, so we're gonna leave the Airbnb and head down to the center of Oxford for this one just got to put my contacts in have my porridge and then uh, we're ready to go Nothing like race morning than eating porridge out of a pot. <laughs> Look at that. Typical, eh? First frost of the year, race morning. How are you doing, Ellie? All ready to go? Yes, a bit cold. What's the race plan today? Race plan is to keep to a six minute kilometre pace. Yeah. So hopefully two hours, six minutes. Would that be a PB? That would be a PB, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> and uh, how's training been for this training block? Uh, not great. I've been ill and had a few injuries. Got shin splints, kind of, so still recovering from them. Perfect. That's yeah. just what you want to do, run a half yeah, marathon on shin splints. Yeah, in the freezing cold. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. Right, let's go. So we're just on the way to the event village. It is freezing. You can see our breath today. It's about three degrees at the moment. Hopefully it warms up a little bit, but I've come prepared. I've got a coat, jumper, gloves. Ellie, not so much. She's got one of my hoodies on and better legs. So she's cold already and we've only been out of the car for five minutes. So yeah, this will be fun. Um, but we've got mum with us and Dan's just gone to park the car. So yeah, shout out to Dan. Thanks for dropping us off. Um, but yeah, we're just walking to the event village now. In terms of the race for me, we'll we'll see how we get on. Um, definitely not going to put any pressure on times and stuff like that. I just want to see how I'm feeling. Um, and after 5k, if I feel any pain, as I said, with this niggle that I've got, um, then I'll probably end up just jogging it into the finish. So no expectations, but hopefully have a good race and just be competitive with, with whoever's here this morning. I can hardly talk, get my words out this morning because my lips are so cold. But um, yeah, it's going to be a good day of racing. And I look forward to getting into the start pen now. So we just arrived at the event village. Look at all these people standing in the wet grass. Their vapor flies getting all cold. I'm sure they'll be all right. How you feeling now? You need a wee. How you doing, Mum? Cold? You need a wee as well. You're gonna to have to get in that big queue over there then. But um, yeah, I'm gonna hand over camera duties now to mum. I've told her how you operate the camera. You press the top button and then the red button and then yes. it records, all right? Okay. But um, I'm gonna go try and find my pen because people have started moving to the start line already. So got to do a bit of hustling. All right, well, have a good race, Elle. Yes. See you in a bit. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> Found the start line. Can calm the nerves now a little bit. It's always a little bit of a worry to try and find where the race actually starts um, with all these big organised events. But yeah, found B and A pen. Let me show you the seal. Close, I can get to the start line. Show you a little bit of it. 
First up, here it is. We've got Cancer Research UK here today. So in about 45 minutes time, the race starts just behind me there. So yeah, in the right place. Going to do a bit more of a warm up and get ready to go. I got the bling. So finishing time was one hour seven and forty seconds. It's about twenty-five seconds off a of PV. So yeah, pretty tough for that on that course. Woo. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done, Ben. Thank you. Well done. Got my medal. Woo! One hour and seven minutes forty seconds. So wow. not quite a PV, not quite a podium, but very happy with the run. Pretty good. Yeah. Solid performance. Well done. Good to watch. Yes, yeah. brilliant. brilliant. There's a lot of people here. Yeah. Really, really 12, busy. 12,000, I think they said. 12,000. 12, 12, 50, 55, 55. They really do it. Yeah. So here's Mum after the race. How do you think that went today? Really well, really well. Bit, bit, bit cold, but. Yeah. Did you get cold watching it? or? Cold feet. Cold feet, cold feet. Yeah. 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 But yeah, good race. Oh, yeah. We're going to go find out how Eddie's got on now. Yeah. Should yeah. be about another 40 minutes and then... She's got a good feeling she's going to get a PB. You reckon? Yeah. 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 Let's hope so. Should we go find her? Yeah. Yeah, let's go, go find her. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Ellie, let's go! Come on! So we just saw Ellie go through the 13 miles, so less than... 0.1 to go. Um, she looks like she's struggling a little bit. She has some stitching Come on. in her stomach. Um, but she's very close to her PB, so we'll have to see if she got it. But um, she looked like she was giving it everything she's got. Hopefully she's all right. We're going to try and find her now. How did you get on? Dead. Well Dead. You did it. You looked like you were struggling towards yeah, the end there. I did. Yeah? I wanted to cry. Oh. You did it. What time did you get? I didn't realise you get a t-shirt. Oh, you got a beer as well. They yeah, I didn't get, get I didn't go through there. I was a naughty boy. I jumped the barrier. Ah, nice. What was your time? I think like two hours eleven. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. 
It's about it's wet. Dying. Yeah, well done. Had a new gel and I should yeah. say it made me gag. It oh, really? Like medicine. What? You, very flavor. You're telling me you used a new gel on the race day? Yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Lot to learn. But yeah, well done, Elle. Good job. Let's have a look at your t shirt, Elle. So just finished the race, going for a bit of ZZ's for lunch, a bit of pasta, a bit of pesto pasta maybe, some pizza to recharge the old engines after today's race. Oh, it looks quite busy. Should be a table there. What have you got for dinner, Elle? A bit of carbonara. Mum, what have you gone for? I've gone for the sea bass. Lovely bit of sea bass. Potatoes. I've gone for a calzone. Dan, a bit of lasagna. <laughs> Too hot to handle though. Oi oi, just finished Pizza Express. What have you got there, El? Oh yeah, let's have a look. Oh, is that a few too moments later. A few moments later. Ta -da! Ta -da! So I just got back from the Oxford Half Marathon. Still got my medal on. Overall, I'm really happy with how the race went today. Uh, my official time was one hour, seven minutes and 39 seconds. So about 20 seconds off my personal best that I ran in Copenhagen around this time last year. In terms of the race, it was really competitive from the gun. There was a group of four of us um, sort of running all at the same pace. And we were together until around the 12, 13 kilometer point. And then the pack sort of started to break up with a few surges. And it was won by an American guy in an hour and six minutes and 30 seconds, I believe. So I think I was about a minute off him at the finish line. And to be fair, he led the pack from the gun. So he definitely deserved to win it. Um, unfortunately in the race I went from third to fourth position in the last mile a guy came from behind he wasn't actually in the original group he came from behind worked his way through and overtook me at some serious pace um, that I couldn't respond to um, and probably the only thing I was disappointed about uh, in terms of looking back at my performance was not being able to make the podium um, but the guy who beat me was a better, better runner on the day and definitely deserved to take that position. Looking at my splits on Strava, super consistent throughout and based on my heart rate data, I had a very even effort across the course of the, of the half marathon, um, which is always a good sign. And yeah, a few seconds shy of my personal best. Um, on to the shoes that I was wearing today, I was wearing the Rocket X2 from Hocker. Um, now, I'm lucky enough to have been given a pair, especially for the Oxford Half Marathon, thanks to Hocker and ProDirect. Um, but I have run around 200 miles in my first pair of these, which are just here. Uh, and so I already knew that they were going to be a great shoe for the half marathon distance. I think the Rocket X2 is the first shoe from Hocker in, in that carbon space that now puts them at the very top of the carbon racing shoe game, which is exciting to see. And I really, really enjoy uh, running in this shoe for the half marathon, it was great. It offers a little bit of a softer ride than some of the carbon racing shoes, but the but the carbon plate in this one is just as snappy. Um, and yeah, would highly recommend picking up this shoe if you're looking to do anything from a 5K all the way up to a half marathon race. You could wear this for the marathon, um, but I think the sweet spot for this shoes are those 10K and half marathon races. And you can pick it up at Pro Direct if you want to do so in this nice black colorway. Um, just want to say a big thank you to Hocker and ProDirect for the opportunity uh, and also gifting me and my sister a place. Ellie did pretty well as well, two minutes off her PB, but she enjoyed herself nonetheless uh, and we went for a nice little pizza afterwards, so it was a good little family day out. In terms of the course, it wasn't necessarily the fastest. Um, there was quite a lot of corners and twists and turns, especially in the later stages of the race, which I did think broke up my momentum a little bit. Uh, I think on a faster course, I may have gone a little bit quicker. Um, but in terms of the actual race, the organisation, it was really, really good. The crowd support across the whole 13.1 miles was excellent. Um, and the field was great, really competitive from the gun, which is exactly what you want. It really helps pull you around to fast times when you've got other um, athletes to run with. Um, so yeah, I would recommend doing the Oxford Half. Not necessarily the fastest course, but I had a really good day out nonetheless. Um, a big thank you once again to Hocker and ProDirect for sorting us out. And, and sponsoring today's video. But until next time, aspire to run, run to inspire. We'll see you again soon.